Hey Aquarius, <clears throat> this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your love reading for November 2018. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what does. Don't try to force it. Okay, so let's see what your messages are for November. It's going to be reading about how the other person feels and what's going on with them. Okay, so if you don't have anyone currently that you're thinking of, whether you're with them or not, um, then you can go ahead in my playlist and check out my singles uh, reading spread that I have for November. It's already been uploaded. Or you can check somebody else, whatever works for you. Um, so give me one second here. Just want to, okay. So let me pull a card to see what the love energy is between you and this person. Love energy for November. Oop, these two cards fell out, so we'll take them. Okay, so you both feel like you deserve love. And then also the codependency card here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Um, so however that may resonate for you, um, there could be, you know, some somebody may have a codependency issue or an addiction problem. Um, but the realization that that may not be a factor anymore for either you or this person because there's a realization that um somebody's worthy of love absolutely so it could be you could be the other person could be both of you realizing that you know whatever was going on in the past um whatever if there were codependency issues or things like that there's healing that's happened or has been happening okay so the past position the past situation the empress card is here so there could have been a pregnancy or you could have been dealing with someone who got someone else pregnant. And I always, you know, the Empress always comes up to me as a pregnancy card. It's not necessarily the only one. I do feel like um, the Queen of Pentacles sometimes is that card. All queens are, are motherly figures. Um, so, but the Empress... There could have been, um, you could have been dealing with a Libra. Okay. The energy of this person, uh, so it doesn't have to be those signs. Okay. Because you might, you might have been dealing with say an Aries and, uh, but that person was, had heavily dominating Libra, you know, in their chart somewhere. So if you don't know that, then you wouldn't know and try to, it's only for those of you who know. Um, but this person, a past situation, there was an expression of creativity, uh, birthing new ideas. Um, perhaps between you, there was this energy of, I feel like she's holding a lotus flower in that image. So there was just always this energy, I feel like between you of peace, harmony, beautiful things. A little bit of mystery because of these moons that are here. Beautiful swan. Yeah, I just, I'm seeing a lot of birds in this card. So I do feel like there are a lot of fresh uh, things taking flight. There's a lot of images on this card of things with wings. <laughs> so you feel like um, whatever the connection that you had with, with another person, um, it felt very royal to some degree, or it felt um, it was something that was that had an ability to take flight in the past. There was so much promise and so much peace. And so much hope for new a new beginning. Okay, so much hope. So the present situation here is the Queen of Swords. Um, so this is a truth-telling card. So if you're a male, could have been um, some of you. So I will say first, before I even go, it could be another air sign. We could be dealing with Virgo, Scorpio, um, Aries, Gemini. So the Queen of Swords energy here, Let I want to pick that up more as an energy. This has to do with there's uh, honest and truth coming, the present 
in November. So, you know, if you're listening, it doesn't matter when you're listening to this reading, it's just what's presently occurring right now. Okay. And so there's truth, there's communication here. There's um, somebody taking off some kind of mask that they've been hiding behind. Somebody um, slay, I'm feeling like slaying the dragon you know, and walking off with, with the dragon's head. So there's definitely some kind of a change that's happening. And definitely queen is queen of swords energy where truth, truth will begin to come out in the present situation. Now, how this person feels, sorry, I got to fix this, how this person feels about your connection. Um, they're kind of shy. They kind of have this energy where they're, you know, like a little bit, they're reflecting on the connection for sure with the hermit here. They're trying to analyze it. They're definitely trying to figure out, they, I feel like in November, there's, there's going to be kind of like this stepping back energy. Oh my gosh, I'm really sorry. I don't know why the blur won't fix. It just, there we go. I can't hold the cards up because this is what happens. So um, of course, as I said, the hermit's the Virgo card. This person, their thoughts on the situation is like they're not really thinking about it. <laughs> They're not really thinking about it in, in terms of they're just isolating and they're like, they're going in deep. They're trying to, they're actually, they don't have a thought or opinion on your connection because they're not sure about it. They're not sure what kind of connection it is. They don't, they're not sure. Um, there's a lot of doubts. They have this snake here. So they're wondering, you know, is there some type of sneaky behavior going on? Um, I feel like they have doubt about that. They have doubt. They're not, sh it's like they're conflicted. And I feel like their thought about the situation is they don't know what to think. They don't have clear, they don't have a clear line um, to connect to you because they're not sure. So, you know, that is what they're, that's how they're thinking. That's what they're thinking about you and your situation. Now, what they think of you, Aquarius, is the fool card is here, which is great. They think that you are a risk taker. You, you're you someone who just goes. You don't put too much deep thought into things, whereas this person does who you're dealing with. They're, they're, they analyze things. They're always overthinking things. Okay. This, this queen of swords can also be Virgo. You, some of you could be dealing with someone who's on the cusp of Virgo and Libra as well. So yeah, they're, so what they think of you is that you are peaceful. You are a healer. You know, you, you're, you just, oh, you're like a, a brand new baby, you know, fresh and clean. And you just have this ability to just go, you go forth, you go forward. Um, you don't worry about the risks. You don't worry about the outcome when it comes to, you know, love or your life. They're very artistic and creative. They, they think that you don't overly stress about things. You just take it easy. You take it as it comes. That's how life is. You're very smart, you know? So they, they, you know, their thought up the way they think of you, I kind of feel like, um, they don't understand you. They don't understand that. And they don't know how to, this person, whoever you're dealing with doesn't have that energy. It's not that it's bad that they don't. It's just that they're, they, there's, they, they just take on a lot more stress than you do. They, they overthink things. They think too much. Whereas you're just kind of like, you're just go. The fool is always the Aquarius card to me. So you're just like, yo, stop sweating things. Let's just have fun. Let's just go do and, you know, just be yourself. And you're, you know, you're very original and eclectic and you just do your thing. And this person's always like stressing out about who they are, what their plot, their, their life is going to be like, what they're doing. They just, they're in their head too much. This person's just in their head too much you're dealing with. So how they feel about you? Oh, you have the wheel of fortune. So they definitely feel like you, they're very lucky to have you in their life or to even know you, even if you two are not together currently, for whatever reason, there's a myriad of reasons that you and the other person are not connecting. They still feel that way about you. 
they still think that, you know, they feel they can go places with you. They feel they can, like, you're like a lucky charm in their pocket. Like, if they could take you and put you on a little keychain, they would carry you around because you're a lucky charm to them. <laughs> and they also feel that you're a very fortunate person. But I don't, I don't feel like they envy you or anything like that. I feel they, this person feels very blessed to have you in their life or to just know you or, ha or have had a connection with you if you currently don't. Now, what this person wants, they have the death card. They want transformation and change with your connection. So if you're not together right now, because you broke up, they want to be together again. They want to transform this connection. If you're currently together and things are not going well, they want things to get better. If you're currently dating, they want to get go to commitment, take it to commitment or take it to another level. If you haven't seen each other in a really long time, they want to see you. So the death card to me, they want to put an ending to a past. They want to put the past behind them and move forward. This is what they want. They are ready to shed their old skin. Too, I was looking at this hermit card here with this snake here, and I was thinking that same thing. You know, because they're they're wondering if you are ready to shed your old skin and move forward with them. Because there was something so great in the past between you when you met or um you know, whatever developed, something had developed between you that was so wonderful. And, and you know what I'm talking about. And please leave me comments about what was so wonderful about the person that you met. If there was anything. <laughs> for, and if there wasn't, then this reading's not for you. But I'm definitely seeing there was something so creative and beautiful that occurred when you guys met, however long ago it was. So what you need to know about this person you, you're dealing with, they have a ton of swords. They've been deeply hurt in their past, deeply hurt. Lots of betrayal, lots of pain, lots of heartache, lots of people who took advantage of their love or took advantage of their mental capabilities. This person... Um, they want you to know that they're still hurting from a heartbreak. And this could be heartbreak either in a relationship or the death of a child, the loss of a parent. It can be anything, okay? They're still having trouble with this, but they're coming to the end of it because this is the 10, you know? And what happens when we have complete re uh, ruin? When we have complete ruin, tens are completion, then we are able to rebuild. And so this is what you need to know about this person, that they're, they're coming to the end of complete ruin. They've collapsed internally, physically, emotionally, and they're getting back in touch with who they are and opening up that transformation and that change and trying to ha trying to start over again in their life. So we also have the scales here. So they're definitely trying to balance things out. This is also the scales of Libra. So they're trying to weigh things out, balance things out in their life, do things in a just way, just manner. A yin and yang kind of energy. Now, your advice for you is the lover's card. Make a decision. Do you want to be with this person? Do you want a, a relationship with this person? Do you want a commitment? Make up your, take this time in November to figure out what it is you want. What are you going after in your life? What do you want from the connection that you have from this person? Even if they're not in your life currently, even if there was a break, even if you haven't talked to them in years, you still need to make a decision. 
even if you um, are on and off with them or they're on and off with you. You know, it's not up to them to decide. It's up to you to decide what, what you want. Do you want marriage? You know, do you want partnership? Because, you know, Cupid's arrows are here and they're shooting at you. And the lover's card is a decision card. So it's time now to make a decision about what you want. Whether you want something or you don't. The outcome card here is the seven of swords. So for me, that means that you're both going to get what it is you, that you want. And I feel like there's going to be this sneak away energy that's going to be happening too between the two of you. And it's kind of, I feel like with the moon card here, it's going to be kind of, you know, like I was saying, secretive that um, there will probably be You know, sometimes this card can be about deceit, deception, and lies, but it doesn't always have to be interpreted that way because, you know, sometimes, sometimes things are hidden for a reason. And I feel like the connection that you guys have um, is kind of um, a little bit hidden. It's, it's not that, you know, I, mean, I don't want to get into like a moral issue here because everybody that listens to these readings has different values and different morals and different religions. And so I, I'm not looking at this card in that way. I'm seeing this card as two people who are getting what it is that they want, finally, getting what they need, finally, in their life. And leaving the rest for everyone else and just taking what it is they need. You know, I'll, I'll say this, okay? Robin Hood, you know, the fable about Robin Hood, the story. Well, he was a liar and a thief. <laughs> but in what context? You know, he had to do what he had to do, right? To help people. So, I mean, it really just depends on how you're looking at it. And that's where I'm coming from with this seven of swords. This is for the good. This is for the good. And we have the Aquarius symbol down here at the bottom. And this is telling me too with the moon, Cancer Pisces. This too is telling me that um, those, those messages are for you, Aquarius, mostly, that you're going to wind up getting what, what it is that you want, what you've always wanted because of this decision you're making, because you finally make a decision. Okay, Aquarius, just remember... You deserve love, and if that's what you want, you have the opportunity here now to have it. And this codependency card, um, it's just maybe something you'll just have to take a look at during the month of November. Um, I don't know why that message is coming up, but uh, because I'm not feeling it here in this reading, I'm feeling more so that, um, I, I guess if the message were to relate, it would be more to don't stay in relationships that don't give you what you need because that's codependency. Make decisions about what you want. That's really the message that's coming up now. Okay, Aquarius is going to end your reading. Thank you for listening to me ramble on for the month of November, and I'll see you guys in December. All right, bye.